Fingering for C scale is one, two, three, put your thumb under, one, two, three, four, five. And then coming back down, five, four, three, two, one. Now put your third finger over. Three, two, one. Okay, now, when you're playing, always have your fingers curled over, so you hold a fist, and now just let your fingers relax. And see, now you've got nice curled fingers, so you don't want to be playing with flat fingers like this. Because that's not very good technique, and you'll find you'll be able to play much faster and much more relaxed if you curl your fingers over so you hold the fist, relax and hold your wrist up so that it's level with your hand. So you don't want an angle like this or an angle like this you just want it flat across like that. Okay, so here we go. Now, in the left hand you've got Five, four, three, two, one. Now put your third finger over. Three, two, one. Now I'm just doing those fingers so you can see what I'm doing. Um, but make sure you do have the curled fingers and wrist up. Okay, coming back down, you've got one, two, now put your thumb under to G, 2, 3, 4, 5. So C scale. So you can start off with one octave when you're getting to know a new key signature. Now we're going to go on to two octaves. Now once you've gone on to two octaves it's the same for two, three, four octaves. But the fingering for two octaves is one, two, three. Now this is the same, one finger on F. But now, when we get to the fourth finger on B, we're going to put the thumb under again to C. And keep going up. Three, now put the thumb under. All the way up to there. Now come back down. Put the third finger over. Now put the fourth finger. Now third finger. So one more time from the top. Five, four, three, two, one. Third over. Three, two, one. Fourth over. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. So all the way up and down. Now if you want to do more octaves, more than two, it's the same fingering, you just keep going. So one, two, three. Now with the left hand, we use the same sort of principle. So five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Coming back down, one, two, three, put the thumb under, one, two, three, four, put the thumb under, one, two, three, put the thumb under, one, two, three. That's for C scale. Now we're going to do a little bit of how to practice it. So you can practice it smoothly. Or you can practice it staccato. If you 
want to, you can really make that even more staccato by really emphasizing and accenting each note. And that's good practice for just different ways of playing. So make sure when you're practicing each note is coming together. You don't want to have any of See, they've got to be exactly in sync. You don't want to have that happening. So make sure each note is sounding together. Now you practice hands separately as well and you can do both staccato and legato with the left hand and legato. Okay, so these ways of practicing, do it with all the key signatures and all the different fingering.